In today's video, we're opening the first Pharaoh Servant Box ever made. One of Yu-Gi-Oh's most famous sets is Pharaoh's Servant. Because it was the fourth set ever released in the Yu-Gi-Oh TCG, its cards are cemented in the memory of Yu-Gi-Oh's earliest fans. But did you know that Pharaoh's Servant wasn't actually a completely original set? Pharaoh's Servant was actually a combination of two Japanese sets, Curse of Anubis and Thousand Eyes Bible. The latter of these two sets, Thousand Eyes Bible, was released a couple of years before Pharaoh's Servant on December 14th of the year 2000. This set contains 52 cards and a 56 card master set. The rarity breakdown is as follows. 39 commons, 6 rares, 4 super rares, 3 ultra rares, 3 ultra parallel rares, and finally one ultimate rare card. And it isn't just any ultimate rare. This ultimate rare is one of Yu-Gi-Oh's most memorable cards, Thousand Eyes Restrict. In today's video, I will be opening up a 23-year-old box of Thousand Eyes Bible, searching for the legendary ultimate rare Thousand Eyes Restrict. What's up guys, we're back with another epic old school, we're talking old, old school Yu-Gi-Oh opening. We have a box from the year 2000 wait what the tcg i know you saw the intro you know it's an ocg box this came out before any tcg set literally ever a 2000 print box i don't think i've ever opened a box this old we opened metal raiders the ocg metal raiders recently go check that out that was from 2001 though this is a lot older than that it's a whole year before that december 14th i believe so insane box we're gonna open it up original konami logo you guys know what we're searching for that ultimate rare thousand eyes restrict and because we're searching for it i decided i would grab the three thousand eyes restricts that i picked up i believe this was from vop my man on instagram uh, a few events ago i think these are in my deck so no they're not part of the giveaway i i was thinking about it and then i was like ah that just, i just need these in my deck sorry guys but i do have a nice giveaway which is a Pharaoh Servant Thousand Eyes Restrict. This is an original print, by the way, so it's not a reprint. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below. Will we pull that Thousand Eyes Restrict from Thousand Eyes Bible, a 23-year-old set? All right, guys, enough chatting. It's time to open this thing up. Let's take one last look at it before we open it up. This is a definitely a different version of the boxes. I remember Gezi was telling me about how they did these. These are like original sets, and then the Metal Raider sets, it was like there was something different about them where they're like the tall version, like the Metal Raiders, uh, they kind of look like the Korean boxes. Uh, there's a difference between these boxes like this versus the tall skinny boxes. There's a reason they made them like that. There was something about like being original, but like they're all, I don't know, I can't remember exactly, but very cool stuff. Let's open this thing up. Oh, this is gonna hurt a little bit because this is a very old box. Opening this thing up. Oh, it shouldn't happen, but it's going to because you know, that's how we roll. Okay, uh, I don't wanna damage this box, it's very cool. Um, this is not easy to cut. Okay, there we go. Got it. Wow, this wrapping feels very interesting. Very interesting wrapping. Normally, this, if you get wrapping like this on a TCG box, it means it's resealed. So hopefully that's not what that means here. OCG is probably a lot different. Um, and yeah, this def definitely looks legit. So good start right now, but I'm just going to... I'm gonna pop these out a little bit. You know what? Never mind. No, I'm not. Let's just... Let's not break anything on the box. Let's look at this stuff. Very nice. Okay, maybe I will, because it's going to be cool if we if we pop it out. The Thousand Eyes Bible. Last time when I did one of these, some people said, ah, I didn't really like that you like told us some of the cards we could get. So I'm not going to tell you exactly. I'm going to tell you the big chase, but there's some other really cool cards. So we're, we're going to be surprised as we open it up. We're not going to... Wait, do they pull tabs on this? I don't remember. I remember I opened them upside down last time. It's usually the easiest way with these OCG packs I found. Uh, this is a 2000, original 2000 pack. That just got destroyed. That's unfortunate. Okay, let's try not to do that. I think it's five cards per pack, and I know it's not guaranteed foils. So let's just see what we can get. We have the Minor Goblin Official. There's limited removal before that. Limited removal is a common versus a super rare. There was a very interesting rarity change I saw that maybe we'll pull uh, four star Ladybug of Doom. We have the Fairy Meteor Crush, so that is also super. One more card. And the Souls of the Forgotten. All right, all commons there. The feeling of these is so much different. It's like there's so much friction on these cards. It looks like a 24 pack box, if I had to guess. 24 packs of five cards per pack. So it's not like a ton of cards. Uh, it's also not easy to open. Okay, I got it. I'll figure it out. It's going to be really hard to not destroy these pack cards. Maybe I should cut them open. Nah, it's too much work. Okay, here we go. I think actually Science Soldier, we have the, uh, what's this guy's name? the uh, something i can't remember what that guy's name is deep sea warrior of darkness we have the wing weaver that's a classic i feel like we might have gotten something no it's the bite shoes i remember last time somebody was saying that they 
stack all the foils in a row. So now that I remember that, let's go ahead and mix these up real quick. Okay, got them a little bit mixed up. We'll see if that actually helps, you know, maybe some randomization. Because last time with the Metal Raiders, I think we pulled like all the foils at the very beginning. It, there was literally none at the end of the opening. So it wasn't very dramatic. We have the Infinite Dismissal, Solemn Wishes, Science Soldier. We've got the Kuru Karuchin, Garuchin Kuwagata. There we go. All right, we have a another limiter removal. So we are all common so far. Slow start. All right, slow start, but we are going to keep it going. It's okay. Slow start just means it's going to be a fun ending, right? That's what I'm hoping at least. Okay, let's see if we can get that ultimate rare. We have Reign of Mercy. It'd be so cool if we pulled a thousand. I, I mean, I already have some, but pulling it would be insane, especially like Minty from a 2000 pack. Uh, Dokuro Yaiba, the snake coming out of his eyeball. We have the Bombardment Beetle. The Dokuro Yaiba is just very indicative of like original Yu-Gi-Oh artwork, like super creepy, scary. And it's like, that's I think why a lot of kids got into the Man, it's really cool, you know? Uh, the Bombardment Beetle and uh, the Science Soldier has been everywhere, dude. He's his science, stay away. We have a, oh, whoa, upside down? Get an upside down card at the end? Okay, maybe if I flip this around, is that a sign? We'll find out. We have the four star goblin attack force is just a common. He's an ultra in ours. It's crazy. We have deep sea or no, I was supposed to say deep sea warrior of darkness. This is a uh, deep sea warrior. Just wait, is it really just deep? It might be okay. Buy shoes. I would, you start second guessing the names you've known, like, you know, like the back of your hand and you know, it just happens. Oh, the legendary fisherman. Let's go. He's just a super, as you can see in this set. Legendary fisherman. That is an amazing card. Talk about one of the most iconic Pharaoh servant cards right here. That's a great sign for this box. Legendary fisherman. Huge pull, actually. That is super nice. All right. That's a great start. We've got a legendary fisherman super rare from 2000. That is pretty nuts right there. Okay. I'm going to do that. That's a little painful, though, on the pack. Let me, uh, just fix that real quick. All right. We have the Bombardment Beetle. We've got the Gravity Bind. Very nice. We haven't gotten a regular rare yet, have we? The, uh, why can't I remember that thing? I don't remember. And then the Island Turtle and the Drill Bug. There you go, Weevil. Weevil. <laughs> Where will we pull the Thousand Eyes Restrict? All right, Reeve. Weevil, go back. Go back, Weevil. Get out of here. Go back to Duel's Kingdom. Go back to the island. We have, speaking of islands, Island Turtle. We have... What is this guy's name? I can't remember. I'm just losing it. Uh, Gamble, I think, or no? Is it Gamble? Or is it second coin toss? No, second coin toss is different. I think it's a spell card. That's the uh, all-seeing white tiger. And the sword hunter. First time seeing that. Okay. No regular rares. Just one foil so far. Interesting. I mean, I did mix them up, but who knows? Maybe I mixed them right to eat together and we're going to not have actually helped. We have the Solemn Wishes. We have Science Soldier. Gradius. Souls of the Forgotten and an infinite dismissal. Is that a rare? Maybe no, it's not a rare. Infinite dismissal added again. Where are the rares? Thousand eyes by. I mean, honestly, so far though, we've pulled one foil and it's been one of the best ones you can get. So I'm not mad. If we get a thousand eyes, I, I would be happy with a two foil box if we get a thousand eyes. Sword Hunter, Spike Bot. Good to see the Spike Bot, a five star monster. Weirdly. We have the infinite dismissal again. We have insect imitation for Weevil and the bombardment beetle. <laughs> that was not a good laugh. <laughs> it's more like that. I think this might be more than 24 packs actually. Now that I'm opening these and it is, seems like it's taking longer than if it were 24 packs. Maybe it's also because I have to very carefully open every pack. We have the drill bug, souls of the forgotten. We've got cold wave. We've got whatever this is called. I can't remember. Oh, and we've got a Solemn Wishes. Very nice. We are definitely looking for something that's not a common. That is what we're looking for right now. Really, we're looking for an ultimate, though. An ultra rare at Thousand Eyes would be pretty insane. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah, do that. A little bit of, little bit of pivot action there. We have Oni Tank Ruxin 34. Look at that centering. My goodness. Oni Tank Ruxin 34. Wow. Okay, first OCG one I've ever pulled. It's very nice. Goblin Attack Force. We have the Red Moon Baby, very creepy. This is the original artwork. We got a different artwork, I think, didn't we? Type Zero Magic Crusher and... Oh, more terrible centering. Okay, on the Gravity Bind. All right, very interesting. I'm starting to question if there are even rares in the set. <laughs> I mean, there were in the other one, but remember, that was one of the tall boxes and there is a difference there. I can't remember what it is. I should have looked before. I didn't remember that there was a difference until I started doing the opening. And then I was like, wait, there's a difference, isn't there? So, for some sort of reason. I don't remember what it is. Okay, let's... Do that right around the corner. Okay, we have insect imitation. We have the uh, 
tank or something. I don't remember what that thing's called. Gradius. It's not Oni tank. We have limited removal. And we have a minor goblin official. I really questioning the rares. Are there any? All right, we have type zero magic crusher, gravity bind. Where are the foils? Bubonic vermin first time. We have the reign of mercy and solemn wishes. So a couple of new cards there at least. This is not a huge set. The set has like, I feel like it was like 70 something cards maybe. I don't know, maybe I'll put it in the intro. I, d I didn't in my, the script so far, but I guess I could change it. We have the red moon baby, type zero magic crusher. The coin flip, gamble, I don't know what it's called. And another solemn wishes we have so many of that card okay we're officially to the halfway point after this pack so we have actually pulled half the cards supposedly but with the foils it is not seeming like we've done that not at all it is not looking like we have pulled multiple multiple packs even we only have one foil we have these sword hunter spike bot we have the infinite dismissal and we got a rare let's go centering's terrible but that is the insect barrier this had a crazy combo back in the day actually centering is wacko on that thing but hey there's a rare there's rares in this set everybody there are rares. so this this second half should have foils and rares everywhere right in theory i don't know i don't actually know the ratios of old ocgs i mean knowing the old Yu-Gi-Oh and then like going even older i get it could be pathetically bad like oh man this has like a ding on the corner uh-oh uh-oh uh oh it has a ding on the corner oh no oh no it's upside down that's usually meant something over it's just a rare well ruxin almost a ruxin special oh no oh no oh no 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 it's a fusion no <laughs> don't don't be a dick don't be a ding thousand eyes not like the dark magician girl please Oh, what other card could it be? What other card could it be? Are there any rares it could be? There's, it can't, it can't be that. It can, can it be like an ultra version? Maybe it's like a secret version, please. Oh no, oh no, here we go. Oh, it's an ultra version. Okay, all right, it's a thousand eyes. It's still a thousand eyes, which has a little ding on the back, but it is an ultra version. Let's see if I can, okay, it's really not terrible. It's not like the Dark Magician Girl was destroyed. It's just a small little corner thing, but of course, the one that has that is the Thousand Eyes Restrict. <laughs> Ultra rare, very cool. I mean, I'm happy with it. I think there might be a secret rare in here as well, but okay, mixed emotions on that one. Okay, I was like, man, it's the it's the Thousand Eyes Restrict ultimate rare. This is gonna be rough. Okay, I mean, it still would've been cool to pull the ulti, but at the same time, it would've been like, why? Why was it that pack? I still don't even know what to think about that. That Dark Magician Girl was still one of the craziest scenarios ever. <laughs> I still can't believe that happened. Okay, we have the Island Turtle. Drill bug. The tank. <laughs> I feel like that's a very basic name. There's a real tank. Only tank rocks in 34. And we have Hayabusa Knight. Still a bunch of packs left. Still a lot of potential. Will we pull something insane out of here? You gotta believe, guys. You gotta believe that we can do it. Will they have what we are looking for? I destroyed that one. That was a big destruction. We have Solemn Wishes. Island Turtle. Oh, rocks and special big time. Hayabusa Knight. Science Soldier again. And the Skull Invitation. There we go. It came to me. See, I knew it was in there somewhere. It's like, you know, you know the name, but then all of a sudden you just blank on it for no reason. Like if I'm just opening it without thinking, I'm going to say the name because it's just, we've opened that much Pharaoh Servant. Doko Royaiba, let's go. Bombardment Beetle, we have Science Soldier. We have Infinite Dismissal. And we have a Burning Land. That's a Weevil card back in uh, the Duel Links days. Uh, very annoying one. All right, let's see if we can get this out. Okay, that was a nice opening right there. That was how you do it. How do I how do I keep doing that? That would be nice. We have the uh, Bite Soldiers. Bite Soldiers, Bite Shoes. Uh, All Sing White Tigre. We have the Type Zero Magic Crusher, Hayabusa Knight, and the Deep Sea Warrior. Good stuff, good stuff. Give us another Thousand Eyes in this box. Thousand Eyes Restrict. I don't know what the ratios are, but they're probably pretty low to get the ultimate rare. Dokuro Yaiba, Bombardment Beetle, Science Soldier. The infinite special. Look at the centering on some of these. Wow. And the burning land. Okay. Get a bunch. Dude, how do we have one rare? We've got a singular rare. Uh oh. It's destroying these things now. Gravity bind. Drill bug. Hayabusa knight. Kuruchin Kuwagata. And upside down rare. There it is. Speaking of rares, we have Souls of the Fur. No, what? No, that's a different thing. It's, uh, I feel like I don't see this guy very often. Why does that artwork look different? Maybe it's. Has it been edited from the English release, maybe? Oh my goodness, I can't open this bag. There we go. Be aggressive. No, it didn't work. Okay, did not work. B. 
Our aggressive bubonic vermin. Reign of Mercy. We have the Solemn Wishes. Uh, Dokuro Yaiba. And we have a Bombardment Beetle. Okay, good stuff. Just gonna keep going. We've preserved as many as we can. There's a giant pile because they're not laying down flat. We have the uh, Burning Land. Only tank works in 34. That's a good one. We have Goblin Attack Force again. And a Red Moon Baby. The baby is red. Watch out for him. All seeing white Tigre. Souls of the Forgotten. We have Reign of Mercy. Mad Sword Beast. I don't think we've seen that. And a minor goblin official. So what are we at? Two foils? Two foils? Is this real? <laughs> Two foil cards. What is this? Uh, Gradius. We have Reign of Mercy. Gravity Bind. We have Gruchin Kuagata. And a... This is definitely this is definitely a different artwork. What is it? Something about like Eye of Truth or something like that? That is definitely not the artwork we had. That is weird. Those eyeballs are just like... Hey, yeah, it's definitely a different artwork. Another rare. Okay, uh, we're down to like four packs left. We have one ultra and one super. That might be what happens in these openings. That is insane. One ultra and one super. Oh my gosh. I hope not. That would be super rough. I guess let's find out. We have the uh, deep sea. That's a Ruxin special. Burning land. I've been doing pretty good on those. I think that is gamble. We have skull invitation and a limiter removal. Wow. Wow. These are, uh, maybe we'll get like two supers, one ultra and three rares or something. Maybe that's the ratios. Dude, these are some, these are tough then. These are really tough. Goblin attack force. We have Dokuro Yaiba. Cold wave. Souls of the Forgotten. And a burning land. Okay. <laughs> two packs left. Is this normal? Let me know in the comments. I mean, it probably is. They, as I said, I wouldn't be surprised if they had some crazy weird ratios. That's what it seems like, because I think we have three rares, one super, one ultra. I'm expecting one more super. That just would be one, two, three. Four star, Fairy Meteor Crush. We have the uh, Souls of the Forgotten. We have Island Turtle. Skull Invitation. We have one pack left. One pack left. We have two foils pulled so far. So I guess we got super lucky getting a thousand eyes, even just the ultra version, uh, even though it was dinged, of course. Um, that makes it even worse that it was dinged because it was the only ultra rare in the opening. Okay. All right. Okay. We got an upside down card. That's a good sign. Can we get something crazy here? Last pack magic, a thousand eyes Bible opening, 2000 year release date. Insane. Island Turtle. Let's go. We have the Mad Sword Beast. Can we get something crazy like an ultimate rare? We have, was that a gamble? I don't know. We have All Seeing White Tigre. Okay, and we have a thousand eyes idol. <laughs> it's just a comment. Oh, come on. Thousand eyes idol. That's rough. So in the end, we did in fact get one super, one ultra and three rare. So probably not the best value for your money opening this thing up because you don't really get any foils at all but it was still really cool to experience this and i need to figure out if this is normal for these ocg boxes i have a feeling it is shout out to tone fo show daxter jt cho puffins of doom ernesto deanna america deutster supreme sage 21 cj leah gwine 62 another tie show ian musa junior barney mimic gecko and robert f thank you guys for supporting the channel i'll see you guys in the next video peace